We're joined today by Lachlan Wallace, Managing Director of Hillgrove Resources. Lachlan, thanks for your time. Yeah, thanks for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak about the KMN2 underground project. It's really on the cusp of becoming Australia's next copper mine. Really the plan this year, going forward, 2023, uh, is to take KMN2 from exploration, which is where we currently are, into production. So big year ahead. Uh, for those that may not be aware of KMN2, uh, we're located about 55 kilometres out of Adelaide in South Australia. It was mined as a series of open pits from 2010 to 2020. During that period, we produced about 137,000 tonnes of copper, as well as 55,000 ounces of gold. And over the last three years, we've been drilling below the base of those pits to demonstrate the viability of an underground mine. And now we have a, an initial mine plan, throws off about $200 million in free cash flow post-tax. Uh, for a very, very small capital build of only $26 million. This really makes it one of the lowest capital intensive copper development projects in the world. Uh, and since that initial study was done, so the $200 million plan was done, we've actually drilled for another 12 months. We've added another 1.2 million tonnes, so another 20% to that underlying resource. And I fully anticipate that as we bring that into the mine plan, the mine plan will grow accordingly. So the site itself is fully permitted. We have a 3.6 million tonne per annum process facility. We have a, a tailings dam um, with, with plenty of ample capacity. And actually last year, we started some early underground development works. Uh, we established an underground drilling platform. And what that has enabled us to do is to build two uh, underground portals and, and put all of the infrastructure at those portals. So we now have power, water, ventilation, all down at the uh, the start of the underground. So really, uh, pending the conclusion of funding, which we're in the advanced process of, of doing now, we're really uh, able to walk in and take a 4.2 metre cut on the first day, and we're targeting uh, copper production towards the end of this year or early next. So a really exciting year ahead for Hillgrove. And perfectly leveraged to the copper price. Absolutely. I think uh, one of the key things that's uh, worthwhile explaining is that uh, the current mine plan at the moment is all based on uh, the cutoff grade associated with current copper price. So our view is that the copper price will continue to go um, as the demand for, for EVs and related infrastructure um, continues, particularly with some, I guess, some unrest issues that are occurring in, uh, in South, uh, South America. So as copper price goes up, uh, we have the ability just to effectively widen out the stopes because all of our ore loads are effectively a high grade core with a lower grade halo. All of our stopes at the moment currently terminate within low grade mineralization. So if price goes up, we can simply widen those stopes out and in doing so put more copper through into a highly leveraged market. Um, and, and I think that the key differentiator for Hillgrove is that uh, our initial mine plan only utilises 40% of our 3.6 million tonne per annum processing facility. So any material that we can add in for a very low incremental cost, we can feed into the market um, without displacing any high grade ore. And if you juxtapose that to other companies who might have to go through lengthy permitting and, and capital build processes to expand the footprint, this really is a competitive advantage for Camden 2. Competitive advantage, moving into production, leverage to the copper price, exciting times ahead for Hillgrove and its shareholders. Lachlan, thanks for your time. Thank you.